during the late 30s and early 40s, the flying wing was beginning to be considered as a viable option for a long-range bomber. For its time, the XB-35 was a revolutionary concept. The XB-35 flying wing had no fuselage or empennage, which made it one of a kind. It was powered by four WASP R4360 radial engines and had its contra-rotating propellers mounted in a pusher configuration. The XB-35 was plagued with issues ranging from engine vibrations all the way to having a tendency to drift when on bombing runs. My model features a crew compartment just like the real aircraft. The main crew compartment was housed within the wing which was unique to the XB-35. At the far corner you can see the flight engineer's position with all of his dials and gauges. Directly behind the flight engineer you can see the co-pilot and the bombardier's lie flat positions. On the other side you can see the crew entry hatch along with the radio operator's position. And of course, the pilot sits up elevated so he can see out of the bubble canopy. In the tail cone of the wing, you can see where the rear gun operator would be seated and you can see where he would operate the remotely controlled guns. The outer panels of the wing can be removed in order to provide access to the internals of the aircraft. You can see that the battery pack is located at the leading edge of the wing in order to have easy access to replace its batteries. Just like the real XB-35, my model has functioning trailing edge control surfaces that can be positioned. It can be kind of tricky to get to them sometimes with the contra rotating props running. This model has a wingspan of about 4.5 feet and a length of just over 1 foot. I utilized advanced sideways brick building techniques to be able to achieve the smooth look of the wing. There is speculation that the XB-35 may have been responsible for some of the UFO sightings during the 1940s in the California region. With its odd shape, that wouldn't be too unlikely. The XB-35 was designed during the same time period as the German HO-229 and the Northrop N9. These flying wings all played a key role in developing the technology. The N9 was built as a one-third scale mock-up to test the concept of a large flying wing bomber, which would eventually lead to the development of the XB-35. The XB-35 was inherently unstable, which led the Air Force to choose its competitor, the Convair B-36. It would take the advent of computer stabilization before a large flying wing bomber would ever be used in military service. The XB-35 was later upgraded with jet engines to make it more competitive in the jet age. This new jet version would become known as the YB-49. However, the YB-49 with its thick wing just couldn't compete with the faster, thin-winged bombers such as the Boeing B-47 Stratojet. This led to all remaining XB-35 and YB-49 models to eventually be scrapped, taking the revolutionary idea of a flying wing bomber with them. It would take over 40 years for Jack Northrup's dream of a flying wing bomber to come true with the development and introduction of the B-2 bomber in the 1980s.